What's up, y'all? Today, on the bench, is the Alien Red Max. GZ360. Like a top handle with a rear handle on it. Best way I can explain it. Okay. So how I ended up with a saw. Well, I was looking at the, the Echo 2511Ps, the rear handle 2511. Ah, I just couldn't make myself pay that much money for one. So I was just dumbing around the internet like I always do when I end up spending money I don't need to. And I found this. The same company. I mean, you look at it, it seems kind of like a sketchy company. But their website, whatever, but it's a it's a dealer in Ohio. It's really not that far from me. Uh, I ordered the GZ 5000s from him. Cheapest place you could find them. So when I seen he had these, I was like, oh, this is a lot cheaper than an Echo. Still basically the same saw. A little more CC. Probably not going to be as modification friendly as an Echo. And I'm assuming this is a clamshell. That's just a guess. I, I'm pretty sure it's basically like a, a T435 Husqvarna. Real close under all this. This big metal piece comes out here, stays attached to the base. That's just what I'm seeing. But this, this song's got a real identity crisis. I don't know what it is. Now, I run almost tank gas it the other day. And it, it's fun to run. It's got ample power for, you know, cutting little stuff. So, it's going to fit the build just nice, just nicely. And it was 289 to the door. It's got the flip, Husqvarna flip caps. On the side here, it says Red Max, made in Japan. Over here, it's got the black Husqvarna style tag. It says Red Max, Husqvarna, Sweden. And back here on the rear handle, it says Husqvarna, Zenoa Company, LTD, Red Max. You know what in the heck it is? <laughs> Maybe it's a Zenoa clone, not a Husqvarna. I don't know. I mean, it's Zenoa's on there and the Japan. All I know is it fit the bill for the saw I wanted. And uh, it was a lot cheaper than the Echo. So, wow. Just take his hand off. And that ought to release the handle. A spring, spring vibe mounts. Pretty sturdy plastic handle. Perfect for what it is. As of now, this is my saw. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with it. Yeah, well, I may sell it. Somebody wants it. Well, nobody may ever want it. And I'd be okay with that. But honestly, with all intents and purposes, I bought it for myself. Really? 
I'm kind of thinking this thing would look good all black. I well, I doubt it though. Well, that's weird. The flywheel's not solid. I may not be able to get this thing back together. Yes, we definitely have a clamshell. Uh, a bolt. A bolt surely gets into the engine. This is going to be easy to get easy to get the part as a 2511 though. Man, them 2511s. Zip, zip, zip. Yeah, we're just going to take it apart until we figure it out. See what we got behind there. Way better oil pump than I expected. Zenoa. Says the Noah right on the oil pump. So we got us a Noah clone. Got the craziest freaking muffler like you've ever seen in your life. Got an adjustable oiler, that's cool. Like a different size. Transfer cats. What that's all about? Maybe it's not uh, open port. Quite an oil pump, right? And that pump says the Noah right on it. I mean, there ain't that much oil. One of those dumped it out. That's definitely going to come out. <laughs> Oh, 
what's going on up upstairs here. Got the hood. Filter cover. Filter base. It's a little snap on deal. And that says Husqvarna on it. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah, this is this is a Strato engine. I forgot about that. This is a Strato. There we go. Come on. Come on. There we go. That's a cool carburetor. Got one goofy looking intake gun in there. Looks like sealer. It's all squished out in the intake. I think I gotta take the coil and flywheel off. All right, it don't slide out that way. holes in the bottom there. Go ahead and take his carburetor off. Maybe. Ah! 
Ah! Swear to God, it's never happened before. Look how this uh, <laughs> see it there. It's like a freaking drum round piece of bottle when you roll it up, it opens up for the strato. Impulse right off the bottom. Uh oh, I got company. I got company. Yeah. Yeah, maybe this whole side comes off. It does. We need to disassemble this side. What's up, John Bobby? Yeah. Oh, oh. We got spacers for the coil. I don't know how you change a spark plug on this thing. Whoa. This is not as simple as a 2511. Not even close. <laughs> should have been the same relative design, though. Like, it should have popped out the same. I got parts in here that say Zenoa on them. I got parts in here that say Husqvarna. Oh, great. We're not sure what it is yet. No clue. It's a saw. It's a saw. Muff or bolts. I are in the guts out about the 2511s. Did you? Did like a few each. Cleaning up the creek? Yep. Yeah, mean rugrats. I had some brush piling help today. Hmm. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> this thing is weird. I'm surprised it doesn't pop out the, the side like the... I think it does. I just got to get everything... Down situated. Mm. It's got a nice flywheel. Light little feller. <laughs> it's got a light flywheel on it for sure. <clears throat> for sure. Cast. I've never seen a flywheel like that. Uh, 461 I tore down today. It's got a poly. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever that's worth. Oh. That's unique. I'm about to show you some magic. Maybe. No, I think so. Well, man, I've been studying this as I go. It's it's something. Pieces loose. Does it come out the top? Does the list come off? I thought this 
so I'll say come on for next. Wow. <clears throat> top and top I've off and the whole top handle ought to come off. That's what it should. That's what I'm looking to do now. What craziness. <laughs> That's a lot of wonky. Anyway, we're going to shut this one down and then we'll think about it. Later, y'all.